tech stocks, they've certainly had some volatility this week. And let's take a closer look at this sector. Melissa Armo is with us, founder, owner, the stock swoosh. So, you know, people are still feeling that even with rising bond yields, there are still some opportunities in tech. What say you? I really think Netflix is the top one to be watching in this sector right now, simply because of the fact that despite the market falling in the last few days, Netflix made a brand new all-time high yesterday, which was astounding. And Netflix rallied into the close today, just like the market, and almost made a new high on a week where the market really had a very bad week, quite frankly. So I like Netflix the best in this sector, and Microsoft also had a really big move up today, too. Uh, a much, much bigger move than the market. What I like least of all in this sector, surprisingly, which you would normally think is one of the market leaners because of the price of it um, and the growth that it's had in the last few years is Amazon. Amazon has hardly gone anywhere. While the market was bullish most of the year, Amazon has been lagging ever since its last earnings. And so I'll be watching that very closely when those earnings come out, which isn't until the end of the month. I think it's close to Halloween, October 28th is Amazon earnings. When will you decide if Amazon is a buy, right? So you, you like what you're seeing from Netflix. Um, we've certainly seen a great chart from Netflix. When do you design, decide if a name like Amazon, which is an e-commerce giant in the world of technology, in the world of same day everything, um, when will you say, hey, you know what? I think I will maybe step in. Is it a valuation thing? Is, are you worried that it's too frothy or are you worried that the consumer's not spending? What's your hesitation here? Well, I don't think anything's going to happen to the company. I'm just saying that the chart itself, just looking at the technicals, I look at the technicals, looks like it's going to continue to sell off. That sold off again this week with the market. That was moving ahead of the market in the sell off. I want to see that stock again at like 3,600. And it closed around 3,281 here. Now, while this stock can run up 100 points in a millisecond, the fact is that 3,600 is still very, very far away. And it can very easily drop down to 3,000 just as well as go up to 3,600 in the same week. So I think the stock has to have a tremendous jump, and then it needs to hold it. Every time the stock has continued to rally, it drops and lags and falls again. Unlike Netflix, which I was just talking about, Netflix rallied and held the rally. So you want to look for that. Again, I look at the technicals because as an active trader, I'm looking to get in, get out, get in, get out. If you're someone that looks for long term, you can read all the fundamentals on Amazon. That company isn't going anywhere, obviously. And if you want to buy that as part of your long term portfolio, fine. You can get it in here, but you got to be no. But the stock could drop again, again, down another 300 points before it rallies up and makes new highs again. And the problem right now is the overall market. I heard you discussing it with your previous guest. There's a lot of things coming up in the next week. The stimulus plan is going to go on tonight till the wee hours of the morning. And who knows where we open on Monday? The last two Mondays, the market opened down a lot from Friday to Monday, not just this past week, but the week before. We have fallen from Friday to Monday. What if that happens again after a big week of selling, after the bounce today? What if we're a lot lower on Monday? Again, I don't know the reaction that's going to happen here. If the big stimulus plan passes, I don't know if the market would react positive or negative. Nobody knows. So you kind of got to wait to see what really happens with that because the market isn't going to move based on any big earnings until closer to the end of the month. Netflix is again in the middle of the month and Boeing is towards the uh, middle of the month. And again, the big, the big boys, right. Amazon, all the things we like are towards the end of October. So right now, the news and the economic data is a driving factor in these markets. Right. And, you know, um, I started the segment with higher bond yields could be pressuring tech. But there are some people who still believe in tech. Um, you didn't really comment on that theory. I know Apple is a name you're watching. Is this an Apple-specific story that maybe you like Apple? Is it a super cycle, or are you watching Apple for something in particular? I think Apple's holding on pretty strong, too. That's not far off the highs. As what you were commenting on in reference to the market attack, I've noticed, and this is since COVID, really the last 19 months, you're not seeing tech as a driver in the market, that sector, like you used to. What you are seeing more so is the banks. So you're seeing sometimes where, like JPM made a new high this week as well. You're seeing more the financials be a, a more uh, something to watch for the market driver. So I would pay attention to what's happening in those financials, because if they fall off and they're super duper strong, it's gonna be a problem. 
I don't see really since, I mean, I have to really think back to even 2019 when I've seen uh, big tech really move the market. It's been a long time coming. And I'm not saying that that's a problem overall for the sector. I'm just saying that I don't think any one specific sector really should ever weigh that heavily on the market. I have a problem with the fact that Apple, again, is like 10% of the QQQs. And again, you have Boeing, such a big percentage in the Dow. That, that makes it problematic when you're looking to trade ETFs. You know, I think it's the yeah. stock specific look for strong things to go long and look for weak things to short. And right now, the weaker side of it, like I said, really, I, I, I think Amazon could drop off again before it rallies as far as a weak side. The other things are holding up pretty good. Apple's holding up good. Microsoft's holding yeah. up good. And so is Netflix. Melissa Armo, thank you. Wonderful to see you. Melissa Armo, founder, owner of the Stock Swoosh. Thank you, Melissa. Thanks.